Hello and welcome to another update. In this one, I'll be covering the Bakhmut front with a short update. Now, before I get started with this very important update that you need to watch the whole thing through because there's a lot of information, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as I want to reach 100,000 subscribers by the 21st of April. Thank you very much. So starting out by Bohdanivka, the Russian forces have managed to reach the outskirts of Bohdanivka after a small advance here to the north of the village and they're now fighting within the village itself. Then we move on to the Bakhmut front where the Russian forces are actually attacking here by the Assam steel plant industrial zone where they have managed to reach the hospital here to the south and are, this whole area is a gray zone, so there's no clear indication as to who controlled them as the fighting has reached the outskirts of this area. So we'll soon see the outcome of these battles, which will tell us who takes what. But in the past couple of hours and this night, the Russian forces managed to capture the government offices here to the north, as well as the rail museum and the rail station number one in Bakhmut. Then we see here in the central area, they've also managed to take a part of this central area here, where they've managed to capture Hotel Atlantic and are now fighting within the outskirts of that area. And then for the center, we see them having reached this marketplace here by the center of the city. And by that, I mean like the actual center of the city where the Russian forces are now fighting within this marketplace here to the west. So they have made a very large breakthrough broken through the Ukrainian positions are now fighting by the rail lines, which splits the city in two. So now we're seeing the thing that I've been talking about. It cut back to when I said it. If the Russian forces continue advancing within the eastern parts, especially if they finish taking the Assam steel plant, as the Russian forces would then be able to advance further southwards to the east of the rail lines, which allows them to encircle Ukrainian forces in the east of Bakhmut. So most likely the Ukrainian forces are looking to withdraw from the eastern parts towards the western parts before the Russian forces or by the time the Russian forces captured the Assam steel plant or the fortified positions here to the east of the city. And as you can see, as I said, the Russian forces are looking to cut the eastern parts of these rail lines into two into two smaller pockets after which they'll take them one at a time they'll start out with this northern one and then they'll capture the southern one after they have successfully cut them into two splitting it up by the rail lines and further into two the northern and southern parts and i say they'll take the northern parts first because they have captured most of this area and they're now only missing this part here while the southern part they need to take control over all of these areas but there's also the possibility of the ukrainian forces actually pulling back unless the Russian forces manage to cut them off here in the central area by connecting the northern and southern flanks. So there's a lot of smaller pockets being formed here in Bakhmut and it is only a matter of time for the Ukrainians to either get encircled in these areas or to pull back behind the rail lines where they will be forming a new defensive line. And there will be their final defensive line as the only standing settlements that can withstand the Russian offensives is this residential area here to the west of the city where the Ukrainian forces have their biggest fortifications built in the city right now. And that is all for this update. Thank you for watching and have a great day.